Hi, this is Tecla Petridou, a psychologist and an author. Today it's Friday the 19th of June 2020 and it's our weekly video in English. I'm feeling a bit proud because it's the third week that I managed to deliver a video every Friday in English after the lockdown. Let's have some coffee together and talk about the most important question in our lives. What's the meaning of it all? You can pause the video, make some coffee for yourself and come back and enjoy uh, a conversation that I think interests everybody. Are you back? Is your coffee hot enough or cold enough? This morning, I was preparing a video in Greek. Uh, as you might know, my YouTube channel uh, has mostly Greek content and only every Friday I upload a video in English. Uh, today's story on my video in Greek, it was a very uh, common story. I usually receive emails by people who want, to, who want me to discuss on general subjects or to discuss on their life stories. Today's, mo today's story, it was a very common story of a very young uh, person. This time it was a 22-year-old girl who finds herself having no meaning in her life. Um, call it depression, call it post-traumatic stress disorder uh, coming out from a dysfunctional family, call it whatever you wish. Many people around us and maybe us ourselves find it difficult to conceive meaning in our lives. What's the meaning of it all? Why should we wake up in the morning? Why should we work? Why should we try so hard? Try, try to have friendships. Try to have love relationships. Try to be a good person. Try to achieve in life wealth, social recognition, spirituality. Some people opt for spirituality. Some other people opt for materialistic goals. But the thing is that many times we found ourselves disheartened by the fact that it is so often that we have frustration in our lives because what we try mostly for, we do not achieve. It's in human nature to strive for greatness. Um, if you try to to analyze uh, the meaning of the word, uh, the word uh, human being, anthropos in Greek, it derives from two ancient words which mean somebody who looks up. A human being is somebody who tries to become better, somebody who loves, looks up in the stars, looks up in the gods, looks up in the universe, somebody who wants to grow and become better and improve. Improvement and strive for improvement is, in, is within our genes. Um, and this is the reason for civilization, for culture, for art, for everything, for science, for everything that human race have achieved. We have achieved so many things in so many areas. Um, I have this book here. It's a book, a very dear book. Of, uh, of mine by Steven Pinker, The Better Angels of Our Nature, Why Violence Has Declined. Steven Pinker is a psychologist. I think he teaches in Stanford University. And he wrote this excellent book back in 2012, if I recall correctly. At least in, in 2012, 12, I received his signed copy by one of his, uh, one of his um, associates that is a, a young and bright young Cypriot man who achieves uh, academic uh, achievements in Stanford University alongside with Dr. Pinker. In that book, he depicts uh, out from historical data and scientific data that throughout uh, the centuries, um, violence has declined and uh, human beings become better and better and better. It's very important. It's, it's of strategic importance uh, 
to, to look our, on our lives from a, a distant um, view, to be able to go out of ourselves, to go out of our little fairy world we have in our brain, in our mind, and look from a distance, look at human history, look, look in, a, in our country's history, in our, in our um, civilization's history, and try not to look just for a limited period of time, for a period of time that we have difficulties in our life, that things go south and we do not have what we wish for. And most of, most of us wish for happiness. Happiness has so many meanings and so many ways to come to it. Um, accordingly to how, how one perceives them, perceive themselves, how one person perceives themselves. They try to achieve happiness through social recognition, through financial uh, growth, through spiritual growth, etc. We all strive to be happy in one way or another. And very often, very often, we get disappointed because I try for something and I, don't, I cannot achieve it. Or I gave uh, some exams and I didn't pass the test or I would love very much to be with that person that I fancy, but he or she rejects me or uh, are proven not to be um, good match with us. Or we try hard in our friendships in order to have love around us and we, find, we often find betrayal. Or we, we have children and we expect the best from a motherhood or fatherhood and we realize the struggles, the everyday struggles of becoming a parent, etc., etc. What's the meaning of it all? What's the meaning of trying so much, of trying to improve our lives, on trying to improve ourselves if we do not succeed every time? What's the drive that we have inside that keeps us trying and trying and trying? And when somebody stops trying, then he can be eligible for a diagnosis from this book, DSM-5, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Psychiatric and Psychological Disorders from the American Psychiatric Association, which has a lot of labels or diagnoses uh, for people who lose meaning in their lives, starting by the most common one called depression, and depression has too many variations or anxiety disorders, or generalized anxiety disorders, or phobias, etc., etc., etc. What's the meaning of trying, whereas you might not achieve the ultimate goal or the original goal? The ultimate goal in life for everybody is something that we really don't know. It's very mysterious what's our ultimate goal. I mean, it's, it's got, the, um, got so many philosophies and uh, literature and psychological uh, uh, models of uh, behavior and uh, religion. They try, they try, they try to, to unveil what's the ultimate goal in life. What's the reason for being alive? Why do we get uh, born in this earth and what's our cause? I cannot answer to that question for yourself. I tried to answer to this question for myself for the last 45 years that I'm alive, but I think that the ultimate goal for everybody is the same. Meaning that no matter what it comes out at the end to be the meaning of it all, it's a mutual meaning for all human beings. I mean, I don't know. We'll come to, the, to it. I don't know when we will come to it, most possibly when our physical life ceases when we die. I don't know if there is an afterlife or not. Maybe there is, maybe there is not. This is not uh, a, a scientific question. This is a religious question or a philosophical question. Science cannot prove whether there is or there is not life after death, whether um, all the functions that our brain uh, operates will be transferred to something else after we die. We don't know about that. Uh, so most of us, we tend to, to believe that there is no life after death. And my, my, this might be true. Hmm? This 
I don't know. I will be able to find out after I die. I don't know when I will die. Most possibly, if I don't die from an uh, from a, an accident or a violent act, I might die very old in in another forty five years, maybe because we have um, longevity genes in our family. Uh, all all of our women's fa all of our, all of our families women live up to their nineties. So unless somebody decides to remove me from life earlier or if I engage in self-destructive behavior which leads to my early departure or I, I, be, uh, I, be, I become um, a, a victim of an accident or something, uh, I will have many years in front of me until I find out. I'm sure that the moment you die, you find out. You find out there is something or there is not. But that's not the case. That's not the case because we don't live for the day we die. Uh, the, sa the same as much as we don't live for the day we get born. I mean, being born and being eligible for death is two life certainties. We know for sure that we were born. and We know for sure that one day we will die. In the meantime, we try to find the meaning of being alive the meaning of staying alive. I'll try to access some um, rationalizations um, or some answers to this question. The first rationalization that comes to my mind is that um, the meaning of like, being alive is um, following your uh, human instincts. It was Sigmund Freud who pointed out as early as 150 years ago that there are two main forces who drive people in life. The first force is um, uh, a deep wish for life, and the second force is a deep wish for death. And the way Freud described it in his psychoanalytical uh, personality theory is that um, people who, are, who have me mental health, um, they have a much longer drive, a much uh, stronger drive for life than drive for death. And people who are depressed or have any other mental health issues, they might have more drive for death. And that's suicidal ideation, ideation and people who, who, who go to this point where they think about ending their own lives, which is, um, is I'm a psychologist, okay? which is a sign of uh, severe mental health disorder. I mean, somebody to wish to have uh, his life ended, somebody who is young and healthy and prosperous, and they do not have any reason to finish their lives earlier. I mean, it's okay if you have a terminal uh, cancer patient who wishes to stop chemo and uh, die peacefully, then you do not talk about suicidal ideation. You talk about appreci appreciation of the last minutes of life on Earth. But if you have a young person who has um, a, cl a stellar health and they have a lot of um, natural life in front of them and they might think about ending their lives, then uh, I'm a psychologist. I cannot, I cannot describe it in any, in any other words, me, I don't know about other people, then they have um, mental health issues and most probably um, and, uh, depression. And depression is a psychological disorder which also brings alteration in the way of thinking. And you can be affected, your way of thinking and your rational way of thinking can be affected by a mood disorder, an affection disorder like depression. So. The first answer, why should we live? What's the meaning of it all? It's because it's written in our genes. It's inscribed in our genes that we are made for life and we are made for striving, for becoming better in life. A second reason might be, what's the meaning of it all? The second question I would answer in a humorous way, it's because obviously there is not so much meaning there is a meaning in living in order to find an, an our, our own meaning. I mean, um, haven't you got bored or felt suppressed by all these people with theories about life, religious leaders, um, spiritual leaders, and psychologists like me, or authors, or everybody trying to persuade you that 
this is the meaning of life. I have the meaning of life and I'm going to sell it to you or I'm going to impose it on you. I like to become something like an anarchist sometimes. And I think, what if there is no specific meaning of life uh, unless for the ultimate meaning of life that's, that, as I said before, we're going to find out about it after we die or as soon as we die or the moment we die. <laughs> okay. Uh, Maybe there is no any important meaning in life other than uh, you happen to be born and you happen to live. So there is not so much meaning in it. So why don't you find some meaning in your life? Why don't you try to make something out of your life? Why don't you try to enjoy your life? Why don't you try to make your life really meaningful? I do not want anybody to tell me how to live my life. I don't want anybody to give meaning in my life unless myself. So in a selfish manner, a healthy selfish manner, egoistical manner, we can decide to allow and allocate our lives, our own meaning. What's the meaning of your life? What would you like to do? Would you like to be a swimsuit model? That's a nice meaning. Get on, go to the gym, get exercise, watch your diet, get some plastic surgeries. If you were me, I should have. <laughs> And go on pursuing your career, pursuing your dream to become a swimsuit model or a lingerie model. Or would you like to become somebody who helps, helps other people and goes into healthcare or goes into charity work? Okay, go on, full on. I, I love this way. Huh? I love charity work and I love uh, humanitarian causes because they are so tangible so tangible you can touch them i mean if you find the humanitarian meaning in your life um, to be somebody who gives light to other people or somebody who gives love and affection and tries to connect and bond with other people and tries to be near them when they most need the, need her these people these people get instant gratification so it's a very <laughs> it's a very nice meaning for yourself to find because when you give you get even if it is a selfish feeling of fulfillment, you still get fulfillment. Another meaning in life that I wouldn't recommend to anybody, and especially you, that um, those 1,000, 1,500 people that have watched my previous videos in English, because mostly my videos in Greek have about uh, 10, 20, 30,000 views per video. In English, it's 1,000, 1,500 views. Anyway, for those of you who have watched previous videos of mine, you would know that I would strongly not suggest to find meaning of life in love relationships and in falling in love because it's a risky area. It's a risky, it's a risky game. And most possibly, you get disappointed soon and often, and then your life might look like that it has no meaning and you might ask yourself much much more often what's the meaning of it all so if you find no meaning and you and most possibly you don't i mean most of us don't or the younger you are the less you find meaning uh, mean, uh, meaning in your life if you struggle with this question what's the meaning of it all try to answer it in a fruitful way for yourself Try to answer it in a way that suits you. Try to answer it in a way that empowers your self-esteem, empowers your self-love, that empowers your happiness. Try to answer, the, answer it in a utilitarian manner. And I think that humanitarian causes and love and spreading love and spreading positive feelings and spreading humanity and uh, connection and human connection can have a wonderful meaning. And I, I finished this video in English that I thought it would be very short because I say, what, I'm what am I gonna say to answer this question? What's the meaning of it all? I thought I had no answers and still I yet believe that I have no answers. I will close this by one of the um, important and astonishing findings that uh, the Boston study has revealed, the lifelong Boston study, the study on happiness that what the one component that was more important uh, to construct 
the feeling of happiness in people that took part in this survey, the, log the longitudinal study that lasted for several decades, is meaningful human connections. People who were able to form meaningful human connections, they felt happier. So if you find yourself in a position where you find no meaning in your life and you find it difficult to form meaningful human relationships, please consider therapy because therapy can take us out of the depths of our mind. It can give us a brighter option. We can get diagnosed through therapy, especially if we have therapy with a clinical psychologist or a psychologist who's qualified in testing. And if we have a mental disorder or a mood disorder like depression or anxiety, we can even receive treatment for that and be able to find meaning in life, to see meaning in life and enjoy our lives. I wish to all of us to have meaningful lives, to live meaningful lives and finding every day, every day meaning in, in our lives because what's the meaning of it all? It's a question you have to answer again and again, day by day, week by week, month by month. Sending my love to you all. Bye. Please, if you liked my video, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, press the uh, bell button, the bell button for notifications. Don't press it if you do not speak any Greek, because I upload too many videos in Greek during the week, about 15 or 16 videos in Greek. But uh, if you only speak English every Friday, return to my channel and find a new video in English for you. Thank you. Bye.